man takes up a woman in his life. It is always said that he take her for better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. And till death do them part. There's nothing in it that said to divorce or whatever. But it comes up on many occasions where neither party can live together and they divorce. That's for those who are married. Those who are single and have a, a boyfriend or a baby father. When you can't agree, each had their journey and they go away from each other. Over the years, it has been said, and such women are called common law wives. Under the law in various countries, most of these women are considered nothing. And in recent times, or not so long ago, it is said that if you live with a woman for five years, she literally can be partners with you in relationship. Depends on which country you're living in. You have kids, she's still your baby mama. And if we realize in our talking about baby mamas, even when the child is 50, the woman is still your baby mama. It is such a sad thing how men look down on women and think that women are non-entity in society. If it's your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Women are drawn down even when we have contributed to so many things in society. Women are left to look after the children. And yet still, men look down and devalue them. A lot of times we realize we, we love the fathers. They are there. Those who care. Some are sideways. Let me say the roadside. Only wanting to see that child turn out to be something. And then they will say that, oh, that's my child. Is another part they don't care at all. They will take up even another woman without children because they don't have to take care of those. They don't need to take care of theirs either. And the story goes on and on. Women are prone to being raped, even from a young age, right up to adult women. And even when we thought at times that the raping stage is over. There are men in society, and let me use the Jamaica slang or the Jamaica patwa, battery. Men will gang up together and gang rape women. A lot of Jamaican women can testify to this if they really wanted to say. Many were killed along the line, not just in Jamaica, but across the whole entire countries in different languages, whether among the Muslims, the Jews, or the Gentiles, or the Christians, it happens a whole lot of way. It comes to a time, though, that we realize that um, the men just kill the women for no reasons. Kill them, dump them, burn them, even young babies, it is out of the proportion and they don't care. Chop off their head, dump them in some gutters, shoot them. Men just be on the rampage of killing women and don't care. Sometimes I ask the question, what about women that intimidate men? And don't get me wrong, 
Not all men are like this. But it seems to be so many these days that it's out of the proportion that women don't even know which men to trust. We cry, we pray for the abuse, mentally, physically abused, thrust upon women, even women that are pregnant are being still victimized. Carrying a child inside of a woman these days does not stop a man from outlashing his anger. What is it that caused such a demonic ways to come out of a man in every language in every tongues, it is happening. But the reason why I'm asking the American men, both black and white, the Jamaican men, both the rich and the corner poor, what caused you to become so aggressive to women? You're the same man who said women only know how to talk. They blah, 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 and they chat. You're the same man who said that women are the weaker vessel. You're the same man who said that women should not get the, the amount of pay like what you guys get. You're the same men who have all sort of barbarous things to say when it comes to women. And yet still, that tiny frame of a woman intimidates you so much that you go out of your way to shoot her, chop her up, rape her, hang her, do all sort of evil deeds against that woman. You may be 15 and you're looking for a woman of 30 to kill her. You may be just 14 and you have it already in your head to murder, slaughter, decapitate a woman. What is it about us women that makes you become so afraid? Have you ever sit down and reshuffled your brain like when we have the dominoes playing or the card packs or when you're on the casino board throwing them dice or whatever you do that untangles and and retangle things up. Have you ever considered to yourself that something is inside of you that needs to be quenched? Because even though you kill one woman today, you still go and sleep with another woman. Maybe the same Evelyn. So something is literally wrong with a man who um, would take a woman life. If you're a woman that was prone to, to such violence around you, you think you've tried everything, you know how to talk to a man decently, to respect him, and yet still in the home, you've been abused no matter what you do, you can cook good. You can give him intimacy or intercourse very good. You can take care of the kids very good. You're a person that really loves to communicate. You dress even good. You make your face up till you can't even find your own self because you want to be the pleasure of the man. Yet to that same man will... Go out there and look somebody else. Women, don't you think it's time to sit down and to really look at yourself and see the value in you? The men of today don't care what they do. 
And likewise, some of you ladies don't care what you do either. Find a way how to resolve situations in your life. Find a way how to deal with circumstances that you're going through. Sometimes you run to another woman and she will not sympathize with you because I've realized that women, even when they see their fellow women being pushed down to the ground by a man, their only statement is that that other woman deserve it. But when it comes to their term, they think that a woman should sympathize with them. Nobody understand it like the person who is going through it. It's not fair to have a son that will go out there and destroy somebody else's daughter. Knowing also that even though you might not have a daughter yourself, but you're a woman. It's not fair to see a child being killed. And then at the funerals, there is still no peace at the funeral. And if the parent opened their mouth to say anything, they are being prone to be killed also. In a society where women are victimized daily, and men, not all men, so don't get me twisted, and men are running wild like wildfire. Something got to be done because it ain't normal. Too much women are being killed. The bloods are being drained on the ground. Babies are being slaughtered in their mother's womb. What about women? That causes such hunger in men. That you can't quarrel with them. Let me just put it. Disagreeing with them to agree with them. All you got to think about that. You just got to kill them. There are some men that are so jealous. And these are the kind of men at times. Who also go out there. With her a woman. But the woman that they have. If she talks to somebody. Whether her brother or cousins. Or just as another gentleman. They become raging mad. Like wild animals. My viewers and subscribers. I know many of you won't agree with me. Many of you will think that what I'm saying is rubbish. But a lot of women, including myself, are asking the question over and over and over and over. What causes such rage in you as a man who will look down on the weaker vessel and determine if she should live or she should die? Whether it's a baby to a full-grown adult. Because some 29 here whole are raping some older women. Not because the women are not coming out to say it. Because they're afraid. But it's happening right in our society. You're raping babies. That'll show you how your mind sets. You're killing you're raping boys and girls alike. And you're then killing them. Don't you see that you need a pesticide 
to flush you something out of you? There must be something that can typically eradicate you from the inside that you're not letting on the outside. Your time is coming. Maybe it's right now. You're planning your next episode of Killing Spree because you think it's something that runs like water in your blood. So you're ready to chigger off at any time. You see, men who put their fingers all the time like, like they're shooting a gun, such men are to be watched. And I'm saying it again. Men who love to put their finger like they're shooting guns. They're a ticking time bomb. I know I said this and somebody was laughing at it. Yes, a ticking time bomb. Because the same way how you designate your fingers is the same way you are ready to kill or to take another person's life. You're doing your dance or sometimes your fingers are shooting. You're talking naturally, your fingers are shooting. You're on a rampede for something. And then when you have done your killing, you run to get a, an attorney to help you go into the police. If there is not a justice, what they call it, jungle justice, that catch you before. But I'm appealing to all of you gentlemen out there. From 15, 14 here, we're going up. 13, let me put it like this. If your mind is only set on killing, your end is shorter than the day. If all that you do is just to kill, 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 I say your time is shorter than you think. Once again, my views and subscribers, lend me your views on this. I know a lot of you have so many so-called gunmen as friend. And you don't think that when he goes out there and kill a woman, that one day he might turn back and kill you also too. You say the other woman deserve it. But think again about your own life. If it won't replay back in your home. Once again, my friend, this is Jaycon TV out of Zurich saying good morning from Zurich. Walk in peace, my friend. Shalom.